Phantasmagory is a problem inspired by the movie created in 1908 by Emil Cole. It lasts about one and a half minutes and is considered the very first animated cartoon. In the movie, the characters are transformed from one to another by smooth distortions. And that's what you'll have to do here. Of course, knowing this didn't help at all to solve the problem. In the problem, you are given black and white pictures. Let's divide a picture into regions of adjacent pixels of the same color. The pictures respect these three constraints. First, there is an outer region that contains all the pixels at the border of the image. Then, two pixels of the same color never touch by only a corner. Finally, no two regions are directly nested into another one. These are constraints on the input, which means you don't have to check them. The goal of the problem is to find a morphing from the first picture to the second one, in which you have to flip the colors of one pixel at a time, while still preserving the three constraints and maintaining the number of regions of each color. Here you cannot flip the green pixel because it would create a new zone. You cannot flip this one either because it would remove a zone. When there are no possible morphings, you simply have to answer impossible. When does it happen? Remember that pictures are made of nested regions alternating colors. Since you cannot create or remove a region, there must be as many regions in both pictures. Flipping a border pixel would break the first constraints, so the border regions must have the same color. The hard part here is to count levels of nesting. It can be done with a fluid fill, start from a corner, fill a region, then start from any pixel touching it, it's the second region, keep doing it until you filled everything. Fluid field can be done with BFS or DFS. Great, we've seen the impossible cases. Now let's see how all other cases are possible. There's plenty of solutions, but remember that we're not asking for an optimal one, nor even a nice solution here. So let's have a look at an easy one. An observation we can make is that whenever we can flip a pixel, we can always flip it back. It's completely symmetrical. So if we find an easy transformation from any picture to a normalized one N, then it becomes easy to compute the transformation from A to B by concatenating A to N followed by the reverse of B to N. The easiest normalized picture I found are just nested rectangles that are as big as possible. Start by extending the second outermost region as much as possible and just repeat recursively until you reach the normalized picture. How to extend the region? Simply try to flip pixels at the inner border of the outer region. It's not always possible, but when it's not, just keep it and try to come back to it later. You'll see that you'll finally end up flipping all the pixels you wanted to extend the region. We don't even have to be very smart here. A brute force like try and repeat algorithm will be just fine. The last piece that we're missing now is knowing whether we can flip a pixel. We don't want to create or remove a region, but checking it every time is cumbersome. It actually happens to be a local property. Flipping a pixel only depends on its eight neighbors. But that's still 256 cases to treat. Let's see what is possible. I have identified these five base acceptable cases. All the other ones can be derived from them by applying either a rotation, a mirror, or inversing the colors. I have written a small program to generate them. Now I can just assemble all the pieces together and get a dumb transformation that respects all the rules.